What up? What up? Hello, my friends. It's your man, Simply Big Simp, and we had some action this past week. GSA has completed its first tournament. Big stuff. The Ultimate 120 Star Relay has come to a conclusion. Semifinals and Grand Finals went down last week. $500 to the winner and $200 to the loser. Before we get into the recap though, if you aren't sure what a relay is or you're not exactly sure what I'm talking about, you should check out the last recap video and see what happened in corner finals. But we'll get right into the action. Pitt will be starting us off and explaining what happened exactly in semifinals between Team Blue Bob and Team Fantax. All right, guys. Hey, I'm Pity. I'm just here to get you guys caught up. We started off, you know, first semifinals match with Team Blue Bob versus Team Fantax. Segment one was looking, you know, really equal for both teams. About tied going into the segment two. Uh, segment two, though, you know, was really the downfall of Team Blue Bob. We saw a lot of dicey gameplay. Zarflon, you know, started off basement with a, a lot of troubles. Ikori had a death in HMC 100, but nothing else, you know, keeping it together. That's really what it's all about gave Fantax and his team a, a really strong lead going into segment three. Butterlord, also very consistent player, holding on to that lead for team Fantax. Heisenberger just really didn't have an opportunity during his segment to catch up. And, you know, it was really just the same thing for Pete and Mini Corey. Pete XD really just giving no openings there to Mini Corey in segment four. Mini Corey also had some mistakes, you know, saving and quitting before getting the last star on TTM. And... That just, that just hurt Team Blue Bob more. And Fantex, you know, obviously the team captain in the anchor segment was, you know, looking really good. And uh, all he had to do was hold it together. And he did. The team finished with a 150-37, sealing the deal and moving into the finals. Thank you, Pity, for taking us down the memory lane there for Team Bob versus Team Fantex. I will now give you guys some info on what exactly went down between Team Ouija and Team D whatever. Segment one, Team Ouija accelerates. They were moving fast. Joel, however, for Team D whatever, had a lot of trouble and ultimately left Team Ouija going strong with a pretty nice lead into segment two. But Flippio didn't really look so ready for his segment two. Still had to do wall kicks will work, so lost some time for his team there just on the transition from the gameplay. But it didn't matter too much, was able to keep a lead for Team Ouija. Karen for Team D had a really solid basement, but HMC 100 kind of took a dookie uh, right on his face. He got hurt really bad by the invisible ceiling on the elevator there. Unfortunately, leaving Team D whatever it's still behind going into segment three. But this is where there was a turn of events. Tabascoth for Team D whatever brought it back with excellent gameplay. Zion had a lot of trouble with BOB secrets, had to fly around like a maniac over and over, circling around to get the coin. Ended up getting it, but leaving his team with a loss of their lead. And going into segment four, Wormy for Team D whatever was able to keep it going. Super solid movement. And JJ didn't necessarily play that bad, but it was just. Wormy is a big boy. He's got some high level movement, great gameplay, great consistency. And at the end of the day, that's what's the most important in 120 star. Going into segment five, the team captains both took over Ouija versus D whatever, but the lead for team D was just too strong and D whatever absolutely killed it. No huge mistakes. Was able to seal the deal with a 147-03, taking the W for team D whatever over team Ouija. And now, Pity will uh, run you through a little bit of what happened in Grand Finals. We'll we'll split it up here. Here we go. All right. So, uh, you know, the Grand Finals, Team Fantax versus Team D whatever. Both teams coming from opposite sides of the bracket here to compete for the $500 first place prize. So we started off segment one and Team D started down at the beginning, but Joel came back in JRB and kept up the lead, and he actually got his best segment time in all of the relays in this race, which really helped Team D whatever to, you know, secure a small lead at the beginning. And then Ikori and Karen, both, you know, really crazy Japanese players taking over in basement, both played really well, but Karen, you know, a little, a little bit less mistakes, giving Team D whatever, an even more solid lead going into segment three with uh, Butterlord and Tabiscoth taking over. And uh, simply, how'd that go? So, 
<laughs> Sorry, I was lost in my own head. At this point, Team D would ever had a pretty strong lead ahead of them. And although Butterlord tried his best, Tabascoth just kept the gameplay up to up to par. He's very good at his segment at this point. Clearly been practicing, had solid BOB. Team Fantax didn't necessarily play that bad, but it was just more so Team D would ever had such a strong lead and they kept it going all the way through segment three as well as segment four. Wormy once again coming in clutch, playing super well, keeping the lead for his team, and ultimately Fantax versus D Whatever going into segment five. D Whatever played out of his mind. Fantax, no matter how he played, unable to keep up. Team D Whatever seals the deal with a 145-20. Absolutely insane time for a 120 star relay. Showing the team synergy very well. They all clearly picked their their parts with a lot of thought. D would ever making some solid choices on picking his team. Pity is now going to give us a little walk through of an outro. Take us home, Pitt. What do we need to know? Well, again, I'd just like to thank, you know, the 40 players that came together for this ultimate 120 star relay. And obviously, you know, the people had to sacrifice a lot of time for this. They live across the planet, so we're battling time zones here. And getting everyone in for a race can be really difficult. So do not want to underestimate, you know, the amount of sacrifices they had to to take to be a part of this and i really appreciate that um i'm sure everyone else from global speedrun association appreciates that as well uh, it's been an honor commentating for it but um i'd also like to let you guys know that we do have a super mario 64 bingo tournament going on right now as well uh we are just nearing the end of round one and we also have uh super mario odyssey any percent tournament going on that one's running out uh round one as well right now uh too so stay tuned to gsa for more speed running action it definitely doesn't end here so um i'd like to you know remind you guys follow that twitter follow that discord uh, subscribe to the youtube and uh yeah thanks for watching everybody and there will also be links below to the calendar so you can see our schedule it's very nicely laid out tells you who's commentating the match what the match is who the players are you know, what game and for what tournament. Definitely check it out. It has been a pleasure. Simply signing off.